check for advanced restart okay use this power button here there is advanced restart button you can directly boot into recovery if you don't have that you can use the volume up button and power button traditional way to boot into recovery here we go it's booted into the latest TWRP recovery all the links to that are available in the community section only the ROM zip file file is available in the description you can check out there and this is the latest version of TWRP use the same go to wipe and select here advanced wipe and select dalvi catch and data and swipe here to wipe it go to home section and select install and select here micro SD card and select wherever you download the ROM zip file before flashing that flash the firmware always as you can see 12.5.5.0 Surya Global flash it go to home again and select install and select here ROM zip file today in this video I am going to explain about evolution X here we go evolution Surya out here this is the latest version available you can see here with March security patch this is the first ROM with March security patch for Poco XC as you can see Android version 12 and the build date is March 17 it takes a little bit of time to flash the ROM wait until it gets flashed as you can see the ROM zip file has flashed successfully go to home and select wipe and select format data and type here YES and press this tick button done go to home again and select reboot and select the system this is how the flashing method of evolution x 6.2 latest version for poco x3 you can see here with android version 12.1 l there is the latest build available for poco x3 we will be seeing in this video what all the benchmark results bgm gameplay especially in sanok and even the tdm and everything will be explained in detail here we go it's booted into evolution x from let's begin this video Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video, guys. This is Sampath, you're watching Sampath Samfx Poco X Custom ROM Reviews Evolution X and version 12 Snow 6.2 Surya. This is a beta version, and 5th March 2022 is the latest security patch available for this particular ROM. And the kernel user is 4.14.198 Argon Surya kernel has been used. It's also with latest build March 17, and the build date is March 17 and ceiling status is enforcing and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last five minutes and one second you can see here maximum is 163 average is 151 and minimum is 83 it was a little bit throttling here and there you can see here the performance is also not that great enough compared to previous version i don't know why they degraded that i don't know let's see the benchmark results here and to benchmark results it's also very low 2,89,358 and the temperature raise is just 0 0.3 degrees celsius and the battery drop is 2 percentage has been noticed during this testing but the scores are very similar to note sample yesterday only i made a video on the same rom but i don't know why it's so less for here poco x i'll uninstall this anti to benchmark app and coming to geekbench scores here also it's not great enough I don't know why single score is 368 and multi score is 1188 and the kernel has been used here is Linux 4.14.198 Aragon Surya R64 I already told you and coming to home settings you get home app as pixel launcher and you get all the basic settings at a glance notification dots and app icons to the home screen if you add you can enable or disable from here and swipe to access the Google app also you can enable or disable from here coming into wallpapers and style you get plenty of wallpapers as you can see all the under 12 wallpapers are included in this ROM no need to worry regarding that and wallpaper colors and basic colors are also working for dark theme is given themed icons are given app grid you can choose from 2 into 2 to up to 5 into 5 is all will know 6 into 6 that's how it is and google photos i will explain that and how to unlock high fps count everything will be explained don't just see the bgma gameplay and tell about that you are not showing how to enable 90 fps or 6x extreme settings in bgma watch the video fully then only you will understand it and coming to here widgets are also included in this room as you can see you can drag here clock widget 
front you can even further change also there are four different types of presets are given that's how it is this is the widgets and coming to quick settings panel this is how the quick settings panel looks like here power button advanced restart button is also given and uh, location is also working fine hot spot everything is working fine dark theme is also given and screen recording you get print of options here you can record simultaneously device audio and microphone that's there if not you can use any other third party screen recorder also that's not a problem and let's go to let's see into the settings here the evolver plenty of options given yesterday only i explained in redmi note 7 pro you can watch there i just go into brief here themes you can customize it for example use black theme this is very important as you can see take system gets rebooted if you enable dark theme as you can see now everything is in pitch black condition if you don't enable that then it would be something like gray i really don't like it i recommend to turn on this use black theme then only everything looks pitch black condition as you can see that's how it looks it's fine enough and plenty of customization in theme status bar means you can customize these settings here plenty are given and notifications also you can adjust plenty are customization are given even quick settings power menu gestures into the gesture into system navigation swipe screenshot three finger is available and if you 100 mode if you drag from this pill you get 100 mode if you drag again it will end that's how it is print of customization available even in terms of gesture also into system settings system navigation into settings there is option to increase the pill length but there is no option to increase the pill radius that you need to keep in mind that's how it is if they add in the upcoming build that would be better in my opinion and even button settings also plenty are given animations also if you want you can choose to CRTR scale and charging animation also you can enable or disable from here into the miscellaneous this is very important just launch music app on headset connection if you enable this whenever you plug the pair of earphones then you will directly boot it into music application whichever app you select and screenshot type here is given and unlimited photo storage for google photos if you enable this here you can see here if you enable this then you will get unlimited photo storage in google photos application even unlock higher fps in games this you need to enable manually in evolver settings into miscellaneous then only you can get directly in the bgma smooth plus extreme or 90 fps and unlock higher quality streams if you enable this you will get better video quality output in ott applications they have mentioned here you can read it out this is very important and game space is also given if you enable this there are plenty of options here you can enable or disable from here that's how the miscellaneous settings Th this you need to keep in mind then only you will get into that higher fps count let me disable this dark thing it's too dark coming to other settings in the apps you get default apps here you can if you want to use true color as a phone app you can change from here and browser also you can change from here that's how it is no browser is not given here for some reason if you install certain browser then only it will show the options here and special app access you get display admin apps all file access display over the apps do not disturb access media management apps and modify system settings device and app notifications picture in picture mode premium sms access unrestricted data and install unknown app. plenty are given you can see here all the things you can separately customize for individual apps from here into notifications you get bubbles feature which is working fine notification history and enhanced notifications are also working fine in this evolution x latest version for poco x3 into the sound settings you get plenty of options here also all the basic things are working fine and media as you can see if you want to keep it this you can enable this pin media player and those settings adaptive sound is also given if you want you can enable that and all the basic settings touch vibration haptic feedback also you can enable or disable from here there is no option to Dirac sound settings that was there before but i don't know why they removed that's how it is and coming to display you get minimum refresh rate and maximum refresh rate and smooth display if you enable this it will be automatically raises the refresh rate from 60 to 120 for some content increases the battery resist but enable this for better performance wake on plug and prevent accidental wake up and double tap to wake all are working fine and full screen apps if certain app is not playing in full screen you can enable from here then it will be 
Red in full screen LCD features are given. Just they don't skip to that. That's fine. That's how. And wallpaper and style I explained already. Into security settings you get app lock as also pre-installed here. And coming to encryption and credentials, phone is not encrypted. This is a decrypted ROM Evolution X. This is unofficial build. You can say beta. Very soon it will be available for stable release and face unlock and fingerprint unlock let me show you face unlock as you can see it's very quick just press the power button it will get unlocked within a fraction of seconds let me show you the fingerprint unlock as you can see it's also fast but it takes a little bit of time to unlock into your home skin that's how it is all the basic things are working fine in this room let's see the drm info in this room you will get level 1 certification you can watch all the OTT application in HD resolution that's not a problem in this ROM and coming to safety net status I hope it get passed unofficial build yes it get passed you can use all the OTT sorry payment applications like Google Pay, Phone Pay, Paytm, Yono SBI whatever app you need to use like my Geo, WhatsApp everything is working fine in this ROM no problem regarding that and camera application you just ignore this one basic camera application use this gcam or no build gcam if you want to use advanced things as of now anx camera support is not available for poco ic in android 12 roms that will get fixed very soon and in this air no build gcam let me show you the app this is the version i am using if you want you can use any other gcam ports print are available in this particular app is like gcam is you will get wide angle support also as you can see it's also working fine even in video and plenty of settings are also working fine in this ROM that's how the gcam port and let's go into bgm and see how it handle in 60fps i keep it 90fps and show you in sanok later with followed with td here we go into sanok and by the way many people are skipping video and directly coming to this gameplay and if you're first time to this channel and if you're watching the videos or not subscribing my channel hit that subscribe button down below it's in red color make it black and also allow that bell notification such that whenever i upload a video you'll be notified first and if you like the video give it a like and this is a sanok bootcamp gameplay many people requested this from long time i'm including it from last week you can check out that also followed by this you'll be seeing tdm also and coming to game settings here you get smooth plus 90 fps directly unlocked in order to see that you need to watch full video i already explained how to enable that don't spam in comment section how to enable how to enable watch the video you'll easily understand and loudness is also fine enough as you can see i kept to almost 95 percent it's pretty loud no problem regarding that also it was laggy here we go with tdm that was like bad landing the sanok boot canvas i was following someone else that's how it is now in tdm let's see definitely not as good as previous build that i can easily tell you i don't know what
that's how the gameplay it's definitely playable but the previous build was a little bit better i hope you guys understood how the bgma gameplay and everything i explained let's see the dialer real you get this kind of google dialer let's see whether direct video call feature is available i am using geo here it's working fine nope echo problem or anything in the earpiece also and there is a call recording feature but it will uh, announce that other person is recording the call that's how it is and google photo storage i explained and that's all guys in this video i have explained everything let's see the ram management it's put it out of memory that's how it is and into the battery life battery life is also very good here in the previous build the battery life was not that good as you can see one hour nine minutes and screen on time is one hour seven minute of sot you are getting for 10 to 11 percent that's fine i played game plan and uh, set up in the device and running benchmark results. that's really good but performance is degraded in this particular rom and uh, that's all guys in this video thank you for watching we'll meet you with another interesting video and bye bye for now